Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem. So in this question, we're given an integer array called nums and we have to calculate the pet index of this array. A pet index is the index where the sum of all elements strictly to the left of the index is equal to the sum of elements strictly to the right of the index. If an index is on the left edge, the left sum is zero. And similarly, if the index is on the right edge, the right sum is zero. And we have to find the leftmost private index, which means that we have to start an iteration from left to right. If there is no such index, we have to return minus one as the output. Now let's take this example and see how we are getting the output as three. So this is the input array one, two, three, four and five. And the index position is three. So it says that the elements to the left. So these three elements and these two elements sum is same. So the sum of this is one plus seven plus three is equal to 11. And the sum of this is 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Both are same, which is at index 3. Hence, index 3 is the output. Now, let's take the same example and develop our logic. So, I've taken the same example as example 1. So, we start our iteration from left to right. And we have to check for this condition. Left sum is equal to right sum. So, instead of calculating two left sums and right sums separately for every index, let's find the sum of the entire array. So, for that, let's iterate through the array from left to right. We start i is equal to 0 until i is equal to here. We keep adding all the elements and find the sum. So the sum of the entire array is equal to 28. And now let's find the left sum by iterating through the array again from left to right. And similarly we can find the right sum. So once we have the left sum for our index, we can find the right sum. So we have the sum of the array. We have the left sum for that index by calculating that and we have the right sum. So right sum is equal to sum of the entire array minus left sum minus that elements index minus element at that index. So we start with i is equal to 0 left sum for that left sum is equal to 0 for the current index and right sum is equal to 28 minus left sum is 0 and current index is 1 and right sum equal to 28. So for this left sum is equal to 0 and write sum from first index to this is equal to 27. Each time we check if left sum equal to right sum, 0 is not equal to 28. So this is not the index. So we move further. Now i is at 1. Now we calculate the left sum. Left sum is equal to 1. Right sum is equal to 28 minus left sum is 1 and current element is 7. So 20. So again we check if left sum equal to right sum, 1 is not equal to 20. So that is not the index. So we move further. Now i is equal to 2. Now we calculate the left sum and right sum again. Left sum is equal to 1 plus 7 that is 8. And right sum is equal to 28 minus left sum is 8 and current element is at 3. So right sum is equal to 17. So 8 is not equal to 17. So that is not the index. Move i to the next iteration. Now i is at 3, we calculate left sum, left sum is equal to this 1 plus 7 plus 3 that is 11 and right sum is equal to 28 minus left sum is 11 minus current element is at 6 so that is also 11. So we are checking if left sum equal to right sum, 11 is equal to 11 so that is the pivot index we are looking for so and index is 3 so we return i. So i is 3. So which is the output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. So this is the function given to us and this is the input array nums and the return type is an integer. I declared a variable sum which is initially 0 representing the sum of the array. I'm using a for loop to iterate from the starting index till the end of the array. So if input is equal to 1. So this is the input. I'm iterating through the entire array. I'm calculating sum. So sum is equal to 28. And now I'm creating a variable left sum. Again, I'm iterating through the input array from left to right. And I'm checking this condition for calculating the left sum. That if left sum is equal to right sum. So this is right sum. So instead of calculating right sum again, we can use the total sum minus left sum minus current element. So that will give you the element sum of elements strictly to the right of that current index. If this condition satisfies, we return i else we add the left sum. So this will happen for all the elements inside the array. And finally, if we find a pivot index, i will be returned as the output, else we return minus 1 as the output. 
So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the input array nums, and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.